Hi, I'm Natalie Glibova, former Miss Universe and Empowerment Coach. Today I'm going to talk to you about success events that's organized by my good friend Andres Pira, who we're going to talk to in just one minute. But I want to tell you and share my experience about the last year's success events that I got to be part of. And it was such a beautiful and amazing experience when I got to be on stage and talk to hundreds of people who were just in the highest peak state. They were dancing, there was music, they were laughing, some moments they were crying and getting super emotional. And it was such a beautiful experience to see all of that, to connect to the audience. And it's as if the whole theater was just one big happy family who got to connect, who got to share, and who got to go through all of this amazing experience together. I'm no stranger to public speaking, as you know, but this success event is a totally different ki kind of event because it really does bring everyone together. It lifts everybody up and really inspires people to be the best that they can be. And I simply cannot wait to experience it again at the end of this year when Andres is bringing in another success event to us. I'd like to introduce to you the man behind success events, Andres Pira. When I first met Andres, I was so impressed by his inspiring story, by his vision, and by his big heart of compassion. And one of the most impressive things to me about Andres is his down-to-earth and humble personality. He really just wants to inspire other people and share his story with others to help them achieve their best and to succeed in life. He went from living on the streets of Thailand and being homeless to becoming a billionaire at just 35 years of age and has now become one of the top real estate tycoons in Southeast Asia with his company Blue Horizon Thailand Developments. Doesn't it make you wonder how he did it? It sure makes me wonder. And I always love to get motivated and inspired by other people's success. And I think we can all learn from his success story. Luckily, he's sitting right here with me so we can all find out. Hi, Andres. I'm so excited to see you again. Hi, Natalie. And we haven't seen each other since the last success events. Can you tell me a little bit about the last event and what did you think about it? I think it was amazing. I had a great feeling. It was a great joy working with you as well. Thank I think you. we had the crowd in a fantastic energy. We had we very did. good feedback from, from the crowd and the audience that was there. And I'm just very excited to do it again, but in a bigger scale and in inviting more people and having even a more successful event that we ever had. Really? So you're thinking a bigger venue, more people? Correct. More speakers, more yes. celebrities, maybe a band also that can finish up the events and all that to just make it even more attractive and more fun for people to come and empower and, and be able to motivate as many people as possible. The more people we motivate, motivate, the more we get back, right? Wow, we're taking it up another level. We are. <laughs> always, so always exciting. have to develop. Yeah. Of course, of course. And when you were up on stage and talking about your story, it was so moving and so powerful. How did you feel personally when you had to share such a private and emotional story to other people? That's a great question. And I always been cautious to tell. I never like to tell a lot about myself. I always like to be the person behind the scenes and just do my thing. And it was actually Joe Vital that gave me the motivation after I told him my, my story. He said that you should tell people in public because you can probably motivate people. And I was thinking differently the first time. I was thinking, well, I don't want to brag. I don't want to say I have this, I've done that. And, but he said that I, I don't think that will be the effect. If you tell people what you've been through, you can actually motivate a lot more people to, to understand that anyone, if I can do it, they can also do it if they follow the same principles. So I feel after that, I feel great to be able to do it, yes. Well, it's true. It's so powerful. And I think everybody in the audience could connect to you and to your story. And I remember just getting goosebumps listening to how you started and the vision that you had and how day by day you took every step of the way. You never doubted yourself and you just maintained that vision that took you to your ultimate success. That's amazing. Thank you. Now, of course, many people want to know how to be successful like you. What words of advice or wisdom can you share with us today for people who want to be successful but just don't know where to get started? That's a great question and I get that kind of questions all the time, not only from people I don't know but a lot of my employees that I have and most people they're always stuck in a, in a pattern. They, they, they don't have any visions, they don't have any goals, they don't, have any, they don't know what they want 
And if you don't know what you want, it's very hard to get it, right? It's impossible to get something if there is nothing, you know, it's never going to come to you. And the first thing is to find what, what makes me happy, what makes me, what, what do I love doing? And when you find these answers, then it's much easier to create success because when you enjoy every step of the way doing something that you have a passion for, the success will come if you never ever give up. Right, so the key is knowing what you want first and visualizing what it visualizing is. Visualizing is one of the most important keys in any success. It's like you need to take your mind into the future and bring it back. That's one of the things that is very important. You need to see in your mind the things that you want to create in your life, right? Then that gives you happiness because you can see it's already happening. Right. But the key to it is to put emotions to it as well. That, that is, is uh, because so emotions important. are attractive. They attract things. Not, it's not your thought. The thought is just the first, what do you say, the first step of creation. Mm -hmm. It starts with a thought, then it becomes an emotion. After it becomes an emotion, it becomes an attraction. So it's a three-way step, three step to creating anything, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important to feel positive emotions with the things that you want to have in your life. I think that's so important and you're absolutely right. And then, of course, you have to take daily action and daily steps small progress every single day amounts to big success. Exactly. Right? And you need to make sure that it, that it actually works. It's, it's very hard for a person who haven't done it before to sit and, okay, I'm going to think about $1 million. I'm going to think to have a big house now. If, you don't, if you're not convinced of the keys and how it works, it's very hard to attract them first, right? It's believing in them. Mm. And it's very important for people to start small. Mm -hmm. Start with small things you want to know. And when you get them, you get more confidence that it works, right? I mean, when I started my path, I did the first visualizations and, and things that I wanted was to get a lunch from someone or get a coffee from someone, and I, I just remember. tried it in small. And when they started to come, I, I started to realize, wow, this really works. And then I started to expand my visions and my thoughts of attracting other things. Well, that's exactly the kind of advice that I love to hear. And this is what you told us in the last success event. And I think you're going to go up on stage again and talk about your story again to inspire more people. And of course, for more motivation and inspiration and to hear more of Andres' story, Homeless to Billionaire is a book that Andres has written and it's coming out at the end of this year that uh, you're also publishing, co-publishing with Joe Vitale, right? Correct. So this book is basically your story, right? Tell us a bit it more is. about it. Um, I got motivated to write my whole story after meeting Joe Vitale and he's going to be one of the co-authors. So he will put his, uh, to, to his meaning of my, my life in journey, but it's also a bi autobiography on all the mistakes, all the failures I've done in my life and how I handle them and tackle them and, and what I learned from it, right? And I read a lot of self-development books and it's always a system of this is what you're going to do and some people get tired of reading the same kind of material. So what I've done is that I included all my crazy adventures around the world and climbing all the mountains and extreme sports. So it comes in between every chapter. So it's a fun read also for people wow. to read it. Yeah. I can't wait to read it. <laughs> you will Please get a copy. Please make sure you mm -hmm. save me an autographed. I will, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andres. I'm always so inspired and motivated talking to you. And it's always a pleasure whenever we get together to talk about these amazing things and can't wait for the event. I feel exactly the same. Happy to have see you again, Natalie. Thanks, Andres. Thank you. Thanks so much to Andres Pierre for having me part of success events and for allowing me to have a platform to help and motivate and inspire other people. I cannot wait for the event coming up at the end of this year. So stay tuned for our program at successevents.com. And if you would like to know more about Andres, please read on him on andrespierre.com. I'm Natalie Libova. Thanks for watching and stay empowered.